Welcome to this week's edition of The Lowdown presented by Alexis. Happy Easter, everybody watching. Robbie Musto, Tim Howard, uh, Rebecca Lowe. Five questions these guys have got for me. Turning the tables, I have 30 seconds to answer each one. I don't know what they are. Tim's got first one. You just asked me the same question. Did anything that happened today or any of the results change your opinion on yeah. the title race? I just asked you that on the broadcast, mm. didn't I, right at the end. Um, yes, I think we have seen Manchester City probably leave the title race oh. today. <laughs> I mean, not technically on, or mathematically, obviously. But I think we will look back at this day as... And you're ruling them out. I, I think from... I'm ruling them out. I think that three points plus goal difference, so four points, with nine to go, is too much to overhaul, even for Manchester City. I'm going with that. It's a big statement, I That's know. It's a bold statement, I like it. Bold and big today. Um, OK, I've got next question. Who's more likely to be in charge of their club next season? Eric Ten Hag or Mauricio Pochettino? Great question. It's a really good question. Mm -hmm. uh, Maurizio Pochettino. Um, because I, I, I just, there's too many noises coming out of Old Trafford about Gareth Southgate and possible um, successes to Eric Ten Hag. He has too many bad games. I mean, bad is an understatement what happened at Brentford. That was abysmal. What, what they produced um, at Brentford. Forget what happened against Liverpool. They never follow it up, ever. I don't think they followed up a good performance once this season. So th he doesn't show enough on the field of playing his style, I think, to keep You're his like job. His He'll be up. No, no, you know I don't, Steve. I've said <laughs> since like day one, up. I know. No <laughs> gravitas, not good enough in front of the camera, not particularly likeable even I just I'm just no I'm sorry I think that Sir Jim Radcliffe will come under a lot of pressure to make a change um, and Pochettino they might not be far behind <laughs> but I'm going to go with Den Haag. Question three would Roberto Zerbi mm. be a good replacement for Klopp at, at Liverpool? I can't really decide mm. I don't think he's quite ready Tim mm -hmm. based on the fact that he's had two seasons in English football which is more than Ruben Amarim who's who's in contention from Sporting Lisbon mm. um so that's, that's in his favour. But his emotional prickliness, slightly stroppy at times, gets sent off a lot. I don't know if that's quite what they need to follow Klopp straight away. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm a bit nervous that he's still quite, you know, green behind the ears when it comes to managing top-level football. He's, you know, Sparta Prague, uh, Sparta Prague, Sparta Moscow, not, um, I mean, it's a, it's a relatively big club. It's not massive. I think it's a bit too early, but my concern is I don't know who else they're going to go for at this stage. I'm not sure there's anybody out there with enough experience that can follow Klopp in any way, shape or form. So, other end of the table. Yeah. Other than Burnley and Sheffield United, who do you most fear for down there? Um, Forest. Mm. Forest and Everton, actually. Maybe Everton. Everton. So, so you're, you're actually, really, I'm changing you're really my mind. positive on Luton. I, I think Luton will be fine. Wow. Fine might be a stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Luton will be just about OK. Everton, as you said yesterday, Tim, while we were watching their game, they don't have a goal scorer. They don't have one. I mean, name me one. They ain't Beto. got one. Beto's they haven't got a goal scorer. scorer. Robbie, I say it again. They haven't got a goal scorer. Um, and I think there's going to be some more points coming off yeah. their total. Yeah. Even if they have three off and one goes back on after an appeal, mm. I don't think they can afford that. They're sitting at the moment three points clear and they can't score goals. And the whole feeling around the club is only at the moment I think heading one way I'm worried about him oh sorry Tim question number five it's Easter happy Easter thanks um what is the best ever Easter treat and why why is it peeps oh god <laughs> <laughs> these are one of the few things you can't get in England I've or maybe you can you now I don't know <laughs> delighted <laughs> have you ever had one no nope. can you have one li live now on the lowdown yeah, all right it so looks like these, a massive sugary treat. Okay, so I must see. You know you love a sugar little a little boost. This isn't a boost, mate. This is like oh. a steroid situation. Ready? Right. Eat okay. it immediately, if not oh, sooner. You're eating it. <laughs> I ain't eating peeps. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thoughts? Very sugary. Yeah. It's not nice, is it? It's not pleasant. Very synthetic. Yeah, so th very chemically. Anyway, peeps, if you want to endorse the lowdown, feel free at any time. <laughs> Thank you, chaps. Happy Easter to you too. Uh, don't forget, you can get all of our original content on the NBC Sports YouTube channel. Uh, Premier League update, the Two Robbies podcast, uh, Premier League tactics session, and this show, The Lowdown. We will see you next week. Finish that peep right now, immediately. Hi there, I'm 
Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.